What is up, good people? This is Sean from Grouse Magazine. Hope y'all feeling good today. I'm feeling good. I got music playing in my ear right now as well. I did have music playing in my ear. It's uh, Pick a Side by Icy Twat. Crazy name, I know, but I promise you it's actually good. <laughs> uh, I got my overalls because I just got done working on the painting behind me. Um, got my artist beanie on, so Nick is not my artist. It gives me plus five dexterity, plus five mana, negative 100% health. That's how it goes. You know how it is in the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're going to get right to it. Oh, and I also got my um, my Uggs on, my brand new Uggs. Big shout out to my girl. Uh, these, uh, yo, I, I swear, Uggs have, must have, have got a new visual director or something, or creative director, because never in my life thought I think they would make something like this. They're pretty comfortable, too. I fuck with them. Yeah. But um, let's get into it, all right? This is the music video review segment of Guru House Magazine, so we'll get to business. The music video for Kill Bill might just be the magnum opus visual project for SZA. It's a well-crafted cinematic video that elevates SZA to the status of cultural icon. It's rare for bigger artists to use this medium to create something that's not only big, but also impactful. This is something that's going to occupy prime real estate in the minds of people for generations. This might all sound hyperbolic, but let me explain why I think this is true for this music video review. The beginning of the music video shows you that SZA and TDE were not playing around. The budget for the video clearly was very large. Within the first 40 seconds, you see large set pieces, props, actors, practical effects, and VFX woven in. These things are expensive on their own, but what makes them even more expensive is the planning that went behind all of it. To make all of this come together seamlessly to bring about the vision for this song requires a very skilled production company, and those do not come cheap. But back to what we're seeing on the screen, because if it's not obvious to you already, then you should know that this is an homage to Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill movie. We see a boyfriend walk in. Wait, 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 wait. Stop right there. All right. So I, I really wish we as a culture, we as a people would move away from those big face watches. All right. These Big bezel watches has a chokehold on my community, on our community. Our people have to let these go. We have to let these fat face watches go, okay? They're rarely proportional to the risk that they're on, but that's, all right, I'm gonna leave that alone. But anyway, big shout out to Scissor's BBL journey. I've always said that she has the best one in the industry. I think it's the titties. Her decision to go conservative on the breast was a great decision. I think, I think those are hers. I think those, I think those are her titties. I think those are real titties. But anyway, back to the video. She reads a note that was given to her by her boyfriend, which is important because it gets called back to at the end. The trailer gets shot at, and we see that it's her boyfriend that's ordered the hit. At this point, you probably didn't realize, and you probably didn't even mind that the song didn't even start yet, and we're already one minute into the video. That is the sign of a great music video. People click on these things to see what the video is going to look like, but don't be mistaken, we're expecting a song as well. So you have to put something really engaging and interesting on the screen or people are just not going to watch this shit. The video continues and we see that the editing is consistent to what you would have seen in Kill Bill movies. A little nitpick that I do have, and I have very few nitpicks with this video, is, that, is the way she is riding the motorcycle. I wish she was leaning forward a little bit to give off the sense of urgency and a sense of speed. It felt like she was casually riding to her destination and I think that was a mistake. I do have to give it to her though. It looks like she was the one riding the bike instead of some body double with an equally proportional BBL. Also, another nice little touch is the license plate that says SOS. It's ironic because it's the international code for extreme distress, but SZA is clearly not in danger here because she is the danger. We cut to a great fight scene with SZA looking like she's doing all her own stunts. It's just it's just cool, man. And if you don't like what you're seeing on the screen, then you're probably just a hater and you gotta wake up to your hater life every morning. Right after that, we cut to a nice little animation which adds some variation to the visuals of the project. SZA walks up to her ex, rips his heart out, calling back to the letter that was given to her in the beginning of the music video. 
this is great man this is true cinema honestly i don't really have much more to add to that besides the colors the the framing but all that calls back to the kill bill movies and whatnot and anime with black characters always interesting to see and just when you thought the music video was over scissor smacks you in the face with her naked in bondage but somehow it feels like it makes sense somehow it feels like there's some context that explains this yeah, I mean, maybe after she killed her boyfriend, allegedly, she was in danger. There were some other people out to get her, and they got her. It just, you know, it's kind of cool to see. Also, it's just really cool to see that there's enough visual context and context within the song that uh, it allows us to suspend disbelief and accept that there's a legitimate reason why she just shoved her naked body in this video, and it just makes sense for the video. All in all, the music video for Kill Bill is a successfully done homage to a classic movie with enough personality to make it feel like Scissor's own. It's sexy, engaging, cool, and you should just go watch it, man. And if you watched it already, you should tell somebody to go watch it, alright? Yeah.